Hello and welcome. You're watching Today in Parliament with me, Ashwara. And these are the Parliament headlines. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman to move direct tax reward to Vishwas Bill 2020 in Rajya Sabha for consideration and return. Bill already passed by Lok Sabha. Rajya Sabha to take up private members' business. Member Narendra Jadav to move a bill seeking measures to ensure national security while promoting foreign investment for consideration and passing. Bill was introduced on 6th of December last year. An Aircraft Amendment Bill 2020 listed for consideration and passing in Lok Sabha. Discussion and voting on demands for grants of six ministries for 2020-21 also listed in this business. It is the day of private members' legislative business in the Upper House and as many as 20 private members' bills are listed in the day's agenda today. These include the Animal Factory Farming Regulation Bill 2020 to be moved for introduction by Congress MP Abhishek Manu Singhvi. The bill aims to provide for the regulation of animal factory farming industry in India. BJP MP Kiroli Lal Meena will introduce the Uniform Civil Code in India Bill 2020. The bill aims to provide for the constitution of the National Inspection and Investigation Committee for preparation of a un uniform civil code and its implementation throughout the country. The Victim and Witness Protection and Assistance Bill 2020 to be moved for introduction by Amy Yajnik to provide adequate protection and assistance to victims and witnesses in criminal cases. BJP MP Amar Shankar Sabli will introduce the Backward Areas Development Board Bill 2020 to provide for the establishment of a board for overall development of economically backward areas of the country. And Congress MP Ronald Sapatlau will introduce the Single-Use Plastic Regulation Bill 2019. The bill aims to provide for a framework to enable the country to achieve its goal of eliminating single-use plastic by the year 2022. And in some uh, legislative business, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman will move the direct tax vivad Sivishwas Bill 2020 in the Rajya Sabha for consideration and return. And today in the Lok Sabha, the Aircraft Amendment Bill 2020 is listed for consideration and passing to amend the Aircraft Act 1934. The bill will be moved by Union Minister Hardeep Singh Puri and also discussion and voting on demands for grants of four ministries for 2020-2021 is listed in today's business. These include the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, Ministry of Tourism, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Ministry of External Affairs, Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs and the Ministry of Railways. Kriti Mishra is now joining us live from Parliament. Uh, Kriti, today is Friday. It is the day of private members' legislation in the Upper House. There are key legislative uh, agenda as well, including uh, the direct tax or Vivad Se Vishwas uh, bill uh, to be introduced and returned by Nirmala Sitaraman. Also in the Lok Sabha, we have uh, the Aircraft Amendment Bill. How does uh, the day likely to pan out in both Houses of Parliament? Well, Ashwara, over the last week, we saw disruptions in both houses of parliament over the issue of Delhi violence. Now that both houses have discussed the issue and in fact, Home Minister Amit Shah, have, uh, he has also replied to the apprehensions and assuaged the concerns of the members saying that irrespective of political affiliation or religion, none of the perpetrators uh, would be actually allowed to go off. So this is a very important assurance that's, uh, that has come from Home Minister. So now we assume that uh, proceedings would uh, actually take place in both houses of Parliament and as you've mentioned in the Rajya Sabha, it is the day of private members' business because it is Friday. So several important private member bills are listed to be introduced and also listed to be taken up for consideration and passage. For instance, Narendra Jadha will move a bill for passage uh, and uh, for consideration, which is uh, to ensure that uh, national security is kept in mind while allowing foreign direct investment. There's another important government business in today's agenda which is direct tax Vivatsi Vishwasa bill that has already been passed by the Lok Sabha that was mentioned by Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman in this year's budget speech, which is an amnesty scheme 
for settling all the disputes uh, of uh, direct taxes and also remember that more than 4,80,000 cases are pending in various uh, uh, high courts and uh, Supreme Court uh, on the issue of direct tax. So the government is trying to resolve all these issues. So this is a very important bill that would be taken up in the Rajya Sabha and in the Lok Sabha there's aircraft amendment bill to enhance safety and security in India's civil aviation realm and also to improve uh, the efficacy and efficiency of various departments and also there would be discussion in the Lok Sabha on demands for grants for various ministries including the Ministry of Railways, Tourism, Social Justice and Empowerment and also External Affairs. So important legislative agenda in both houses of parliament today. Eshwarya? Right. And uh, Kriti, speaking about uh, the, sec the second half of uh, this budget session, you know, uh, you just mentioned uh, that in the beginning, uh, as soon as the session re uh, assumed, there were, uh, you know, disruptions uh, by the opposition members over the issue of uh, discussion of uh, Delhi violence. Of course, uh, that, uh, that discussion has already taken place in both houses of parliament. And when the session began, uh, it was mentioned that, that there are about uh, 45 bills on the government's agenda so, uh, as the session uh, will reassume uh, from Monday, can we expect uh, some key bills to be passed in the second half of uh, the session? Well, uh, absolutely, Ashwara. And in fact, uh, yesterday also, if you remember, two important bills were passed uh, by the Rajya Sabha. In the first half, there was concurrence among all political parties to ensure the passage of these bills that replace the ordinance. Now, these two important bills were the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code, Second Amendment Bill and also Mineral Laws Amendment Bill. As you've mentioned that spanning over the period, the government has high priority of uh, 45 bills and also to ensure the passage of a budget as well as discussion and voting on demands for grants for various ministries. So that is a very important uh, agenda on uh, uh, government's uh, uh, priority this time and uh, it is hoped uh, that since uh, this discussion has taken place and that the Home Minister has also replied to so both houses would take up important government business over the next week. Ashwara? Kriti, thank you so much for all those updates there. And in some other legislative business, the following ministers will lay papers on the table pertaining to their ministries. Uh, Hardeep Singh Puri for the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Mansukh Lal Mandavia for the Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers. Danve Rao Sahab Dada Rao for the Ministry of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution. Parshwatam Rubala for the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. Sanjeev Kumar Balyan for the Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairying. Som Prakash for the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Kailash Chaudhary for the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers' Welfare. Also, Department-related uh, Parliamentary Standing Committee reports on demands for grants for 2020-2021 for various ministries, including the Ministry of Agriculture, Defence, External Affairs, Food, Consumer Affairs and Public Distribution, Information Technology and Labour, will be presented in the Upper House today. And a Union Minister V. Murli Dharan will make a statement regarding the government business for the next week. And following ministers will lay papers in the Lok Sabha. Smriti Rani for the Ministry of Textiles. Prakash Jabrekar for the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. Shri Padhya Sonayak for the Ministry of Ayush. Ashwini Kumar Chaube for the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. And report of a Committee on Subordinate Legislation based on examination of a statutory orders notified by the Ministry of Finance and the Ministry of Human Resource Development under delegated legislation will be presented. And reports of Standing Committee on Agriculture, Information Technology, Defence, External Affairs, Food, Consumer Affairs and Public Distribution and Labour will also be presented in the lower house. Also, Union Minister Ashwini Kumar Chaube will make a statement uh, correcting the reply given on 6th of December last year to unstart question number 3009 on failure of immunization program and reasons for delay in correcting the reply. 
Union Minister Arjun Ram Meghwal will make a statement regarding government business during the week commencing 16th of March 2020. And the Secretary General will report three messages from Rajya Sabha regarding the Constitution Scheduled Tribes Order Amendment Bill 2020, the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code Amendment Bill 2020 and the Mineral Laws Amendment Bill 2020. And with that, we wrap up this edition of Today in Parliament. Do stay tuned. The proceedings of the Upper House are going to commence at 11 a.m. Thanks so much for your time.